My name is Elena and this is my academic assessment for Advanced Algebra Semester 2 called Trigonometry Transformations. And to find the solution to any of my problems, first I have to know the formula I am going to use. The formula is y equals k plus b times the sine of x minus h over a. The shape of a sine and cosine function is called a wave or a sinusoid. sinusoid. These waves have two distinguishing features, the amplitude and the period. The amplitude is the height of the wave. <clears throat> the formula to find it is the maximum of wave minus minimum of wave divided by 2. To find the period, it is the frequency of the wave or the length of one wave before it repeats. The period is y equals sine of x, which is 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. Example 1. The sine of x, and I found that the amplitude of this equation is 1 and the period of this equation is 2 pi. Let me show you why. This is the function, and as you can see, they, the two points are at 1 and 1, which makes the amplitude to be 1. And also you can see that the period is from 6.28, which is 2 pi. Example number two is r, r of x equals 1.5 to sine of 0.25. I found that the amplitude of this equation, as you can see, is 1.5. The period in this equation is 8. I figured this out because negative 4 minus 4 equals 8. And the equation, the graph for this is... As you can see, the highest point... The highest point is at 1.5 for both of them. And as you can see, it goes from 4 pi to 4 pi, which is y minus negative 4 minus 4, which gave me 8. And that is how I got my period. And my example 3. Consider the, fa the function y equals 3 plus 5 to the sine of x minus 2 divided by pi. The amplitude of the function, to find the amplitude after graphing the equation, I had to find my highest and my lowest y coordinates, which were 8 and negative 2. I set up my equation 8, minus, eight times a negative 2, minus um, times a negative 2, divided by 2 equals 10, divided by 2 equals 5. The amplitude is 5, as you can also see in the equation. And to find the period of my equation, I had to find the difference between the highest point of the x-coordinates. My x-coordinates were 6.93 times negative 12.83, which gave me 19.76. And that concludes my slideshow for trigonometry transformations.